In the previous videos, we mentioned about the steps of designing pre-stressed members. We have discussed about the process of constructing the magnal diagram and then based on the visible area in the magnal diagram we determine suitable P and E and also X tandem profile for the sections so that the sections have the stresses within the limits of the compressions and tensions of the concrete now let us talk about how do we adjust the P and E as well as its tendon profile in the applications of the pre-stressed concrete design. You know that the eccentricity and pre-stressing force may be very along the spans. It may not necessarily to be in constant throughout the section. The reason being when you draw the two magnet diagram, one for the mid-span and one for the support, it might end up to be a situation that there are no common feasible area for both the mid-span and the support. This will lead to a situation that you will have a set of P and E at the mid-span and another set of P and E at the support. Since that the stress in the member can be manipulated by both the P and the E. Adjusting the P here will affect the stress. Similarly, adjusting the E here will also affect the stress in the member. Normally, designers have the flexibility to adjust the P and E so that it comes to a state that it is within the allowable limit of stress for the compressions and tension. This slide demonstrates to us how we adjust the P and E in pre-stressed concrete members. First, we may have a curvature tendon profile Assuming this is the neutral axis of the section, there will be zero eccentricity at the support and there are eccentricity at the mid-span. The eccentricity increase along the span until it reaches the highest at the mid-span and then reduce gradually to another end of the supports. Through this, the eccentricity of the tendon can be adjusted throughout the span. In this case, the P remains the same throughout the sections both at the support and the mid span. The eccentricity E varies. This may ultimately lead to different set of the stress diagram and the equations to derive the stress within the member. This curvature shape of the tendon profile can easily be adopted in the post-tension member. For pre-tension member, you can still use the deflected tendon methods to create large eccentricity at the mid-span while maintaining low eccentricity at the end of the beam. The tendon profile curvature here is not as smooth but it can still generate a similar effects of changing eccentricity along these bands. The most ideal situation of the tendon profile is it generate a smooth moment variations resistance in the member that completely counterbalance the external UDL load adding on the member. If the tendon profile is properly designed, it is possible for it to total eliminating the stress so that the entire beam sections possess no stress in the member. Now we look into the method of adjusting the P along the span of the pre-stressed concrete member. First, you can use the debonding method. 
taking this as an example four strength here is being debonded the meaning of debonded is the tendons are sheltered in order to reduce the direct contact between the tendons and the concrete this will result in effectively 12 cables here effectively transfer the stress into the concrete while only the remaining cable here are able to transfer the stress into the concrete this method is normally adopted when it is not possible for you to adjust the eccentricity of the tendons along the span for example you have so many tendons to be used having so many tendons in the curvature profile will be complicated it will be easy to define the locations where the tendons are being debonded under such circumstances the E here will remain constant throughout the span however the P here for the mid span and the support will be different this again will lead to different set of the formulas to determine the stress in the pre-stress beam for the mid span and for the support another method of adjusting the P within the member it is by terminating the tendons at different locations of the spans some tendons are being stretched throughout the end of the member while some others are ended at certain specific places in the members by taking this as an example at these positions all the tendon contribute in the pre-stressing loop however at these positions only the last few tendons are contributing in terms of the pre-stressing loop this again will vary the pre-stressing loop for the mid span and the support in the equations to determine the stress in the member